Okay, welcome back. This is Mote Kamnari Moses Modende. In this video, we learn on how you can run Jupyter Notebook, you can open Notebook, and you can learn it. So, as you can see on top of my desktop, there is a folder called Jupyter. So, when doing any project, or if you are, I mean, you are using Jupyter Notebook, it is better to create a project folder anywhere in your computer but for easy uh, i mean easy accessing it and easy using of your folder uh, make sure you create your folder on your desktop so this is a sample folder for doing project so the next step is to run or to open anaconda navigator and wait for it to load. So when Anaconda Navigator will open up, uh, the next thing we'll do is to launch Jupyter Notebook. And uh, Jupyter Notebook will usually open uh, on default browser of your computer. So long as my default browser of my computer is Microsoft Edge, so once I launch Jupyter Notebook, uh, it will open on Microsoft Edge. Yeah, this is Microsoft recommended browser. That's why I'm using it as my default browser. <laughs> so it's just the matter of time before I mean Anaconda Navigator open up, then you will launch Jupyter Notebook. I tried to give this guide because uh, there are few places where you can be taught on how to to use Jupyter Notebook. In most cases, uh, different students taking machine learning, data science uh, are started to be, I mean, they are taught only basically of machine learning, data science, but I've never found a place where they are teaching on how to use a Jupyter Notebook. So this is what drove my attention or drove my soul and prepared this session uh, of teaching people or students on how to use Jupyter Notebook. So that's it. Okay. So these are the component of Anaconda. There is Jupyter Lab, Notebook, there is Orange, but our focus is to use, I mean, a Jupyter Notebook. Here there is a button named Ranch, so you can click on it so that it will Ranch. So it is Ranching. Now you can see this is Jupyter and uh, this is I mean our dashboard. So here are the root files uh, and folders of your computer. Yeah, you can see it. Find a folder named as desktop. This one open up. So if you go at I mean a desktop, I told you before that on top or on your desktop, create a folder on which you'll be doing your project. Uh, I created a folder name as named as Jupyter. Uh, on, in this folder, I'll be using to store my project files. So if you have yet created, created it, I'm creating, I'm clicking on it. <clears throat> so to create a new Jupyter notebook, you should click on new. Let me do this. You should click on new. After clicking on new, I mean it should be like this. Click on new, then Python. So that's the first step. You have successfully created the Jupyter notebook. So to name it, click on an entitled. Click on that, then name. Uh, <clears throat> name it note book one so as you can see the name 
is uh, of your Jupyter notebook is notebook one. This is notebook. So here you can do your stuff and here you can run it. <clears throat> so, so far we have learned two things, how to run to Jupyter notebook and how to open Jupyter notebook. Uh, the last thing we are going to learn is how you can run. You can run a mini source code, whatever, run you have written in your Jupyter notebook. Let's say, <clears throat> let me show you that ways, ways to run Jupyter. Jupyter. There are several ways you can run Jupyter notebook. But first, I mean, first way is using a plus plus a symbol or sign plus sign, and the next way is to use I mean, run run button button or label. So. <clears throat> Those are the ways you can learn, I mean, your Jupyter notebook. You can use, uh, I mean, you can use uh, learn button, this one, or you can use, sorry, you can use control, press enter. So you can use control enter to learn your cell present in Jupyter notebook, or you can use a learn button so let's do it let's try maybe write your line import uh, numpy as np so how do you learn you can use this to learn now you have seen it is successful these are the comments this is how we put comment so you can use I mean learn button or you can use the control you can use the control enter like this now I've used the control enter now you can so those are the ways so thank you for watching we have learned the three things how you can run Jupyter notebook how you can create Jupyter notebook, how you can name it and how you can run. Oh, it is about five things we have learned. Run Jupyter, create, name it, and run. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. This is Motek and I'm Noel Moses Modende. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it takes as much resources, a amount of energy, time, and the money to bring this service for you so show support for us show love for us thank you for watching i hope we'll meet in the next video make sure you don't miss it goodbye